So let's start coding the form. First, I'll name it shopping cart. And it can say shopping cart on the text. And of course, we'll have it open center screen. So our form is going to have three tabs. The first one is going to be the order form. The second one will be the shopping cart and then the mailing label. So let's drop in tab control. I'm gonna make it bigger. And let's edit our controls on our tabs. First, I'm going to add another because like I said, we need three of them. And I'll just call it tab and this is gonna be the order form. So now let's click the page itself and I'm going to use text order form for the tab. Now let's do the same with second tab. I'll click the second tab and click the page and this one is going to be shopping cart. And now the third one, click the page and this one's gonna be mailing label. So let's go back to order form tab and here we will enter the order address first. So that can be a text box. So I'm just gonna drop text box right here, make it bigger and it's gonna be txt order address. And I want this to be multi-line. So let's make it bigger. We can bring in a label just so we know what this text box does. Put it right here and it can say order address. Then we need the selection of the products. So that is going to be coming from a domain up down. So I'm going to drop domain up down over here. Let's name it. So it's going to be domain up down. So dot and I'll call this one products. And I don't want any text as a default. Then we need a button that will add the order together. So this one's gonna be btn add to order. And the text can be add to order. Then we can have a label where we will see how many items were ordered. So I'll name this one LBL items ordered. And the text can be items ordered. And by default, it's going to be zero. But I don't want this to look like a label, which currently has border style nine. I'm going to change this to fixed 3D. So it's going to be more pronounced and visible. And then I'm going to drop another button there. And this one's going to be for new order. So it's going to be BTN new order. And the text can say new order. And finally, I'll add another button over here that exits the application. So this is going to be BTN exit. And the text can say exit. Now let's click the shopping cart tab. And here we will have the list of all products that were ordered. So we'll drop in list box. And I'll call this one LST products. And maybe we can have a label here too that will display the total cost of our order. So the text is going to be total cost. And I'll name it LBL total cost. And I'm gonna change the back color to be, let's say, yellowish. A little bigger font. Maybe bold and 12 points. And again, I'm going to make the border style fixed 3D. And I'm going to also change the auto style here to false. So I'm just going to make my own label size. I'll make it across like this. In fact, let's go to other form. Click this label. And I'm going to change the auto size to false as well. Down here. So this way I can make it my own size and it will stay that way. All right, so we have order form, we have shopping cart, now the mailing label. And the mailing label can just be, let's say, text box. 
that it will display the address. So this is going to be txt mailing label. I want to set multi-line to true because we want multiple lines, of course. I'm going to stretch it like this. So this is going to be a mailing label. And I can make it enabled false because we just want to display things in the label. We don't really want to edit them. So here enabled, I'll change this to false. All right, I think our form is ready. Next, let's start coding. 